This is a really quick video on how to use a custom set with this geometric delight pattern that Mary Palmier um, had questions about. Here I've already done it, um, but I'm going to do it over again so you can see the steps. We're going to pick quilt, new quilt, custom set. Now we need to select the size of the quilt. In this case, the quilt is 40 by 56. So you need to remove the sliders or just type in the numbers. We're going to set the blocks on layer one. And right now you can see it has a grid on it. You can turn this on and off by turning this grid tool on and off. I'm going to leave it off. This is snap block position to grid. So even though you cannot see the grid, you can snap a block to it. I'm going to leave that depressed. This is snap block size to grid. I'm going to turn this off because I don't want my blocks to change. I'll select a block. I'll we'll start with this one. Put it in the upper top corner and let it go. According to this pattern, I have a picture in front of me here. I'm start, going to start placing all the blocks. Now you can line them up as you go along. I am just trying to visually line them right now. You can go and do some aligning later. Oops, I picked the wrong one. So get rid of that one. I need this one. Okay. Next one is this one. And the blocks are going to come in at whatever size you save them at in your sketchbook. This large block is a 24, uh, 16 by 16 block. Here's half of a 16 by 16 block, and I made two variations of it, one portrait and one landscape. And these are 8 by 8 blocks. And I kind of colored them differently so I could tell them apart. You see I'm not getting them perfectly aligned here. For this quilt, things need to be lined up perfectly. So I'm going to stop right here, go over here to the adjust on this toolbar. I'm going to grab the first block and hold my shift key second block and then I get these align tools. I'm going to align them at the top edges and it'll always align with the first block you chose. So they're aligned. First probably I should have moved this up a little bit. Yeah. Now I'm going to do that again. Align. Then I can just align all the way across. So they're all lined up around the top. I'm going to pick this guy and I'm going to move him over. And you could use the cursor keys on your keyboard as well. I'm going to do that now. This guy will move up. And just to be sure, you can line everything up on the bottom. So I'm going to take this block first, shift, line at bottom. This EQ7 does not allow you to group objects like this, which would have been so much easier, but you say pick them one at a time. But always remember, whatever you're aligning to, it chooses the first thing you chose to align. So we're going to continue adding blocks. Next block in this pattern is another big 16-inch block. I didn't get it all the way there, so i got to get my adjust tool. And see, I can just move it anywhere on here that I want. We're going to put it here. Some more blocks. And we have a bunch of the small blocks. I'll have to move that one later. We need a big block. 
or small ones. Another big one. Just didn't grab it. And then we need a horizontal block. Small. Oops, come on. And all the rest of them are small. Now you can see the blocks are laying over top of this little border. So I am going to have to make some adjustments and move things around so everything's where it should be. This needs to go up. This needs to go up. This needs to go over a little bit. This needs to go over. Okay, there's the quilt that Mary was trying to do. Um, we're just going to paint the borders. And of course you can go and repaint all these blocks. Now if you did not have blocks, all these blocks are, um, they progress in size. They're multiples of each other. This is a 16 inch block. This is an 8 inch block. This is a 8 by 16. So they all kind of stack together really nicely. But what if you just wanted to float blocks in a field of fabric. We're going to use the same quilt, but we're just going to get rid of some blocks. Um, so let's start new quilt, custom set, and we'll just leave this size here. Turn off this fabric. I'm going to grab a block, and I'll turn on the grid too. It might help y'all visualize. So I'm going to grab the big block, and I'm just going to bring it in here somewhere. I'm just going to float it there. Um, maybe I'll grab another one. Put it like right here. I'm actually going to grab this small block because I just want to see the size. Okay, so now I want to move, to make things easier for myself, I'm going to move this right there. Okay. Maybe go up a little bit. Down a little bit. Try to make them. There we go. I'll grab some more. Maybe I'll grab this guy. Let's put it right here. And this guy. And just throw it here. All right. So I've got blocks all over the place now. So what do I do with all this space here? I need to fill it with something else. On the sketchbook blocks tab, if you just right mouse click, you get a drop down box and you can go in, down here and add a plain block. So I'm going to add a plain block. Now I'm going to take this block, which my PC stops spinning, and I'm going to set this block in all the blank spaces. So I'm going to start up here and you'll have to think of what is the most logical way to do this. Um, for the shapes that you've got. I'm going to need to adjust the size of this plain block. I'm going to I'm going to make it go all the way over just for simplicity's sake. And then I'm going to drag it down so it meets. Now I can change the fabric of this block, the color. Um, let's just choose gray. And that's my color now. So I'm going to continue to add blank blocks to fill all these spaces. Now I could just drag blocks here and then adjust their sizes later. Or I can just keep going. Each block I add, I can adjust its size before I move on. Now, um, the actual, you're going to have to be very persistent to get the actual size of the block. 
and realize that you may not get accurate yardage. You may have to, I mean, it's not going to create a really great pattern for you in EQ7 doing this, but you'll get a visual representation of what's going to happen. I'll move this little guy over because he's in the way. Back to the next move all the way over here. Now things will come out a little bit square. Mm, there. This one will go all the way down here. So I've got some weird shapes going on here, but you just keep filling in the blocks. Add some more. So. Only go down this far. Maybe a little there. So you continue in this manner till you have filled everything in. And then of course color each thing, each block. I want to show you one that I already did, a different type of um I'm gonna add a book and save this. Here's one, a custom set that I did using this method. So I just kept adding plain blocks to fill in the spaces and if I choose to figure out what the yardage is now I can still go file, print, fabric yardage, preview, and see in the gray here it tells me, it gives me an approximation of all those gray blocks in addition to the fabric yardage for the individual piece blocks. So that is how you use the custom set in EQ7.